Okay, so I'm home from college for good because I graduated this last weekend, which is crazy, and I really don't have much to do right now. <laughs> I thought I could try to make a video since I've said I would for a while and it hasn't happened, so here we go. I'll just make a coming out video since I feel like that's a question, I mean a, a video topic I get asked to do a lot and I actually am pretty officially out now and it's probably the first time I could make a video that is like fully donezo video of coming out so we'll just do it. I'll do a, like recaps of major events because I may or may not have one of the longest coming out stories I've ever personally heard. If this video is as long as my coming out story, it will be a four year long video. <laughs> I came out to my family my freshman year, after my freshman year of college, officially. We'd had some conversations kind of about it in the previous, my senior year of high school. Some things got brought up about it. The first person I told was my sister, and I just kind of told her in the car, and it was like a joke, and she just laughed, and whatever. That was like really not that big of a deal. My sister's super liberal. Yeah, so for her, it was kind of no big deal. The next person in my family I told was my mom, and I told her at like dinner, and it was kind of emotional. We cried about it a little bit. So Since it was like kind of something that had already been brought up, it wasn't like this big shocking, like, <laughs> It was just kind of like, how is that that going? And that's kind of how it got brought up with my mom. It was like, a, how is that gay thing going? Like, I kind of was like, yeah, I think that that's it. Like, that's pretty much, yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> so that kind of was how I came out to my mom. Then my dad, I wrote him a letter, and there is, I actually shared that letter, and it was kind of private, but I've gotten actually a lot of like, great feedback from it and I've actually had people tell me they've used that letter and like kind of like changed it up for themselves and send it to their own parents which I think is crazy but awesome and I'm really glad that that could help because it's pretty personal for me but it's helpful for someone else I think it was worth sharing. All the reactions of my family my sister is super nothing like <laughs> super supportive super great. My mom was really just worried for me and wants me to have a good life and like I think was just concerned like of my quality of life being gay she didn't want me to have like people give me a hard time like she didn't want me to have to deal with like I guess the extra stress that does come along with being gay like obviously straight people don't have to worry for years about telling people their sexuality so I think that was her main concern I think when my dad first found out he was really hoping that it might be a phase People see guys as, you like guys or you like girls. Whereas I think people see girls and they're like, well maybe you just like this girl. And I think that was my dad's idea of it for a very long time, or like for at least a couple years until I started dating Candy. And I think, I think my dad fell in love with my girlfriend, but no, I'm just kidding. But I think that really did change, that was a game changer for my life, is that my dad just loves my girlfriend, which, I could not be more happy with her. My mom loves her, my sister loves her, everyone loves her. She's just candy, she's the best. So I don't think I know anyone who doesn't love her. <laughs> as far as friends go, well, I told two high school people. Then I started moving on to telling my, my college friends. And telling my college friends was a very slow process. I lived in my sorority house until I was a senior in college. So for me, I was really, really anxious about people finding out when I lived in. It was all really circled around like I was afraid of the reactions because they were gonna be really, like it was gonna be something in my head that I couldn't escape if it went bad. I was thinking like, if this is a bad reaction that I get or this spreads and I have no control over it anymore, I could be in a really bad position living in the sorority house like that and like being very tied to it. I was, that was really scary for me because I was like, what will happen? Like they could kick me out, like I could be picked on. I won't be able to get away from it if it is bad. Like I'll be, st I'll be under a microscope. And I think that's really what was so scary to me about coming out when I lived in. I don't know, I just had a lot of like reservations about that situation and so 
it really did slow down my coming out process quite a bit because I really wanted it to stay within the people I knew, knew me well enough that that wasn't gonna be a problem. First friend I came out to was my friend Sarah and I came out to her my sophomore year of college, the second semester. And so, and that was the only person I told that year. My junior year, I probably told like four people, I think, four of my college friends. So four people in my sorority. God, that was slow. And so basically, the whirlwind of me coming out with more power and more like intent really just happened this senior year of college. It started with me coming out to the rest of my roommates. So that, that was first semester I came out to my roommates. And maybe a few other couple people along the way, just like people I felt comfortable telling. I can't, I started coming out to those people too. Every time I came out to someone up until that point, it was like pretty emotional thing for me, pretty draining. But I thought those people really deserved to hear and understand and like know me, like just know the whole story, right? And like, that's the only way I knew how to come out was to like really bare my soul to people. After the, I got those people out of the way, it was the people who were friends of mine, but I didn't think I needed to give them all of me that I really struggled with coming out to, if that makes sense. I didn't know how to just casually come out, especially in the South when coming out is a big deal to people, a lot of people still. That's not just something you just, oh, hey, how was your class? How was that test? Oh, and I have a girlfriend. Like, it doesn't fly like that. Not because the people have a negative reaction to it, but it's a bigger deal. Like, it's that's a life-changing thing to people here. And it's not something that you hear every day. Like, there are not a lot of super out gay and lesbian people, especially in the Greek community, which is what I was a part of. And if you're foreign, that will make no sense to you. But if you're from America, you get it. Like sorority and fraternities. There's not a whole lot of open people walking around like just, I'm gay. Like it doesn't happen. So it wasn't something I could just, ca I didn't know how to casually do it. Point, point being, I think by my second semester, it's taken up so much of my life at this point. Telling people has been such a draining thing for me, for good or bad. That's, that's the way I did it and I just didn't really want to do it anymore and so I think I just sort of like started drunkenly kind of telling people here and there like kind of making a joke like hey let me buy you a shot oh by the way I have a girlfriend and just joking about it and being like light right it honestly worked out the way I was hoping I I was hoping that I would tell enough people that were not in my inner circle of friends that it would just kind of like spread and that definitely happened. And I definitely noticed that people were knowing. And then on top of that, I do know as well that people found my YouTube channel and then were spreading that around to people. And that kind of gave me a little bit of anxiety, <laughs> a little bit stressed out that people were watching my YouTube videos. And for people's first knowledge of knowing I'm gay to be watching this video where I kiss my girlfriend. I think to me I just had kind of like an inner panic attack like, oh my god, like that's awkward. But you know what, I thought about it and I really for a minute there considered taking down some of my videos and I was like kind of freaked out, I was a little stressed out and then I was like, you know what, these videos have done a lot more good than bad in my life. If the worst thing coming from them is that I'm a little embarrassed and the best things coming from them is that it's making someone feel okay with who they are, then I need to get over myself. I'm proud of what I've done online. I'm not, I don't mean that in like a humble brag, like me talking myself up, I don't mean that at all. I've had moments of sheer panic with my online presence where someone I know has tried to follow my Instagram or I've heard that someone's seen my YouTube or someone messages me on Tumblr who went to my high school. I've had so many of these moments of just being like, oh no, like, and freaking out. And I am, I'm just over it now and I'm proud of 
who I am and I'm really proud to know that what I've done online has helped even just one person. I think that's more than enough. I made my Tumblr my freshman year of college, which is so weird to say that now, wow. And now I've come fully through college and graduated. And when I went to college, I was severely freaked out about the fact that I might be gay. And I mean, clearly I didn't go join a sorority in a super conservative school because I thought that they would be super all about me being gay. <laughs> My motives behind doing that were definitely more so because I thought I could be like those girls. And I really wanted to and I put a lot of energy and stress and sweat and tears into trying to be like those people who are great people and I'm glad that through them I've learned how to be a better version of me, but I have realized that being me is way better than being some knockoff version of them. But for anyone who's followed my journey since then, and I know there are a few people who have literally been following me since I was a freshman in college, which is crazy. Um, but to you people, and anyone else who's come along the way, um, thank you. Because I get a lot of thank yous. And to be honest, I literally could not have done it if it weren't for the support and followers I've had on Tumblr. And that is like, I'm not trying to be cheesy or stupid or, <laughs> I don't know, like, that is so genuine a thing that I'm saying, I, I can't, I can't even begin to explain how much of my happiness I owe to this website and most importantly to the people that I found through it. So I literally, literally, literally could not have done it without you guys. And just a quick quickly also point out, if you're at a point now where you think that you will never be comfortable enough to come out, I was there. <laughs> I was there and I was there not that long ago. So you can do it. You are strong enough to deal with all the heartache that goes along the way. And if I could give you any advice on coming out, it would be, don't sell people short. Don't assume you know how someone's going to react based off of conversations you've had with them or their religious views or where they grew up. Um, people will surprise you. Just keep being you. Be someone worth loving just because of who you are. And if someone chooses to stop loving you because of who you love, fuck them. They're not worth being friends with, they really aren't. And you are. And you will find lots of people who will continue to be your friend. So yeah, that's my coming out story kind of in a nutshell. I think there might be some missing parts here and there. It's, it's a long, long story. But um, I'm gonna post my Tumblr and uh, my Instagram and my Twitter and whatever below. Feel free to follow those and if you have more questions about my coming out story, you want me to fill in stuff where I left out, uh, just message me on Tumblr and I'll try to respond. And like I said, Cammy's moving to Dallas with me for the summer and we'll be here. We've got some stuff we've got planned for you guys um, that I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, just follow, follow my stuff so you can see this exciting stuff that's coming up and okay I'm done bye guys thank you thank you thank you for helping me come out four years later you fucking did it